Now, I don't know if this is exactly the problem that you're given there, but um, how can I figure out the area of this triangle with trig? So what's the area? The area in general is one-half base times height. Yes. Okay, so what do you suggest in this example? Putting a right angle here. Right Putting a right angle where? Do it with the, the red thing. And here. But that's not a right angle. We don't know. We can't just, we can't just make so it up. So we don't know if this one, this one, or this no, one. No, we right all, angle. we have only the information that we're given. It might be a right angle. Who knows? I mean, we might. Because in most of these, they, we say there's a right angle here, there's a right angle, or there's a right angle here. Right. But that's not, I mean, I'm not, when... You already know how to do those problems. I, I'm not going to keep asking you problems that you know how to do. I'm purposefully asking you one that you haven't seen before. Um, so I need one half base times height. Okay. Uh, what does the height look like on a triangle? Like, how do I sketch the height? There we go. And you're even doing the dotted line. Okay. So I'm not going to do the dotted line. I'll call that H. Okay. Now that's a right angle. Okay. All right, so how can I get H in terms of the information I'm given? Uh, hmm. You have more information on this side, that's for sure. Okay, definitely. So we have an angle, right? That's good. A side. You have what? A side. Okay. H is a variable side. 22, 22 is a given is a side. side. What what trig function, what trig thing uh, do these two come together to make? What trig function? Yeah. That's um, so cartel. Uh, so that that's um, adjacent. Sorry. Yeah, no, wait. That is opposite. Yeah. So this H side is opposite, and this 22 side is the hypotenuse. Okay, and which trig function is that? Hy adjacent cosine. Be careful. So you told me H was which of those? The adjacent, or oh, the opposite. Opposite. And you told me, I shouldn't have called it H because it's hypotenuse. But 22, you told me it was the hypotenuse. Yes. Which trig function involves opposite and hypotenuse? So, uh, sine. Sine of 63 is h over 22. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if I want to solve for h before I even plug in anything, um, I can say that uh, 22 sine of 63 Mm -hmm. equals H. Okay. Right? And then B is already right here. It's 30. Okay? So the area then is 1 half times 30 times 22 sine of 63. Mm -hmm. Now I can put all that into a calculator. Right? But let's try to write this in general. Um, Ow. what if I have any triangle in the world where I have one side length C, um, another side length B. Yeah. Now, it's common in triangles to label the angles A, B, and C. using capital letters across from the lowercase letters. Okay. Uh, in other words... Um, Angle A is opposite side A. Angle C is opposite... Side sorry, sorry. Angle C is opposite side C. Angle B is opposite side B. Okay. okay. Um, so if I want to do the same thing with this particular picture as I did with the previous one, I would say that here H was 22... Mm -hmm sine of the angle. Mm -hmm. So in our example, H would be, in, in our general example, H is going to be C times sine of A. Mm -hmm. 
Do you see how that parallels? Yes. To the previous example? Okay. And that means overall, the area is going to be one half B C sine A. And now we have a formula for area of a triangle that doesn't involve a height. Mm -hmm. Right? This formula involves two sides and the angle between them. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Yes. So already we're getting some, some mileage out of some the trig. Mileage. We're getting some, the trig is doing some work for us. Right? We have a formula now for area of a triangle that doesn't involve the height. Right? It only involves sides and angles. Now, of course, you still have to measure the angle. Yeah. Right? But then you just use a protractor. What do you mean? Okay. Well, anyway. Um, so there we go. Formula for area using trig. Okay? Well, I think we can do a little bit better, actually. We can do... Uh, we can actually find the formula for the area of any regular polygon. Any we'll do. Regular polygon. We'll do that next. Okay.